This is Painting with Mike. I'm your host, Mike. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at, feeling good and proud about yourself. Let me go ahead and explain what I'm doing and I'll go ahead and run the colors. We will have a full spectrum of colors today, so um, we'll be running that for you right now. And uh, what I have here is an 18 by 24 canvas. It's a white canvas. So I did apply the white medium to it. And uh, since this will be posted a little bit late, I just wanted to say happy Mother's Day to all you lovely ladies out there. And uh, let's go ahead and rock and roll. So if you got your two inch brush, I'm gonna go ahead and tap into actually a little bit of the red today. And you don't want a lot, so just a, a little bit, okay? And remember, everything's in that brush. Just feel good about yourself, we'll put it on that canvas, and hopefully we'll do a, an absolutely beautiful scene today because I'm hoping to do some mountains, which I am excited about. I haven't done them in a while, so let's go ahead and make some mountains. Uh, let's. Start out with a beautiful, beautiful background scene and we'll, we'll just start right here, okay? Just something like this, all around. I mean, you don't have to do axes, you can do what you like, but you don't want a lot of this red because it will definitely light, light up your world, okay? And we'll just put it, put it around, maybe just a, a little bit more, just a little bit more, maybe something like that. Okay, and then with that same brush, let's go ahead and tap into the blue. And with this, let's go ahead and start off right here in the corners because it is quite dark and then we'll work our, work our way around. And I'll go over here as well. And then now I'll just, just have fun, just kind of bring it on over. And that's pretty much it. Remember, just feel good, relax, you know? Just feel good and relax. And I'm gonna put some right here. I think we'll have some water in here today. So tap some in. And maybe something like so. Look at the stroke, it's horizontal, okay? And of course with this 18 by 24 canvas, uh, some of those bigger canvases on the back side, I have a, a wooden bar. And I, I mean, you can pop it out if you like, but it kind of messes with the integrity of the, of the frame. So I keep it in there, but I will always have to deal with it. And that's, a, that's an issue. The 16 by 20 canvases usually don't have them, but usually 18 by 24 or up, stuff like that, we'll have that, have that back bar in there, okay? And all you do, if you have it, you just gotta blend it out, okay? Gotta blend it out. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Maybe do something over here. Once again, just tap it in. And I'll pull it this way. Maybe something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and, and clean my brush. I'll be right back. Okay, with a clean two inch brush, I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this out. And I apologize, just wanna save the time from showing you the uh, brush washing. Okay, so I'm gonna start right here with pink and then just work my way out, okay? Just smooth this out a little bit. There you go. here and I'm just just getting to touch the red so it kind of blends in and then very softly we'll go across okay just like that I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and I'm gonna grab a fan brush and I'm gonna go into some white up both sides and Let's go ahead and put a cloud. So I'm gonna go like this. This is the motion and then just keep moving. Okay, just keep moving. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up again. I'm gonna go from here. And same thing, just moving it around. Just like that. And then just want a little bit, a little bit more action right here. Okay, I'm gonna put this down and grab a clean two inch brush. And I'm just gonna just blend out the bottoms. Just blend out the bottom. Same thing here, just blend it out. Tight little circles like so. And I'm not even gonna fluff it, I'm just gonna just keep it how it is. Just real, real soft going over it, real soft, okay? Let me go ahead and beat out the bristles off of this. All right, let's go ahead and grab a palette knife. I'm using a big guy, that's uh, number 10. I always forget, either five's the small one and 10's the big one. And let's go ahead and make a nice little mountain color. So I'm gonna use, a, use some of this blue. Uh, let's put it, let's put it right here. Use a little bit of the blue. And use the black and the prism. And I'm gonna mix that up. Okay. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this white. I'm gonna come over here. Make a different color. Okay. I'm gonna use a flat brush. I'm gonna go into the lighter color here first. Just lay up both sides. And let's see how this comes out, okay? So, I'm thinking something like so. Something like that. And you can just the flat brush it's nice, you can just come down and we'll give you some nice little grooves and we'll have some different little type of mountain range here. Something like so, maybe something like that. And I'm not doing much, I'm just, just moving, okay? And I didn't use a lot of paint, that's the luxury of having the white medium on there. I didn't have a lot of paint on here. And you can see how much, how much coverage I'm getting on there, okay? We'll do something like that, okay? And maybe we'll put another one over here. Same thing, a nice light color, okay? Maybe we'll do something, yeah, maybe like this. And all I'm doing is short little things like that, that's it. Come over this way. Same thing, just kind of, just pull it down, just pull it down. And you'll get all the highlights and everything that you need right there, okay? Remember, the, the secret is not to use very, very, very little paint with this, okay? And we'll put something else back here, you, you barely see it, probably, you, you won't even see it on the, it's probably on the screen, okay? And we'll kind of darken it just so. A little bit like that. And maybe darken a little bit in here. And all I'm doing is touching, look, touch, and just, that's it. Here, let me get some more color on here, okay? Touch, see, touch, wiggle, wiggle, very, very softly, and you're getting all these different textures there, see? So I'm gonna put this down for just a second. And I wanna, I wanna blend this, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is just wanna crunch it in. Just like that. Same 
same thing here, just crunch it, crunch it in. Okay, and then very, very softly, very softly. And the same thing here, just lift up with it, kind of go with the contour of the mountain. Just like this, and I'll mist out finally. Okay, let me go ahead and get off the bristles there. All right, let me go ahead and grab that palette knife again. Same thing, big, big palette knife, okay? And let's go ahead and put a nice, nice strong mount in there. I'm just want to have fun and show you different ways you could do it. So, we did it with a flat brush. And it's just tapped and moving it around, okay? So let's grab that, grab that pile of knife. We're gonna go into the dark pile here, okay? Pull it out, grab yourself a nice little pile. And let's go ahead and make something nice and strong, maybe something like that. There we go, something like that. Grab some more. And we'll do something, something like so. And all I'm doing is just scrub it. Very little paint I put on here, and I'm just scrub it right in here, okay? And we'll go ahead and put a little bit more on this side here. Maybe. Same thing, just scrub it in. All right. Remember, the secret is to push it into the canvas, scrub it in there. You want to stain the canvas and then scrape. Scrape what you can get scrape off. Okay. I think that's good. Let me go ahead and clean this. Let me grab a one inch brush. We're just gonna for a two inch brush and we'll just, just pull it down a little bit, okay? Just pull it down a little bit. And it's all misted out. Look at that. All right. Go ahead and get out this brush. Make sure, you, make sure your brushes are nice and clean, okay? And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put some some caps on this beautiful thing, okay? Let's go ahead and and I'm gonna use the small knife. This is the number five, okay? I want to show you how thick my paint is. Basically, that's how thick my paint is, okay? You want the, the paint thick, okay? You're gonna pull it out. Let me clean this so you can see the roll. You're gonna grab yourself a nice roll, okay? Just like that. And you're gonna come in and just find yourself a nice little spot and you wanna barely touch it and kinda slide, okay? And I'm, there you go, just like that, okay? Small roll, come up, same thing. Just like that, okay? Same thing. Small roll, come over here, let's try this. There we go, something like so. And that's it, that's all you gotta do, okay? The secret is to stain the canvas, scrape it off, and then use thick, thick paint and come in and do your thing, okay? You can just have some fun. I think I'll put a little bit more, something like that. Something 
like so. And then maybe. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this white, some of the blue. And then same thing. I'm gonna come in just the other direction. Same thing here. Put a little bit more here. It's got to make a little bit more. Come in. And let's grab a little bit of the dark stuff here. And just come in and just a couple little spots. Come back with a little bit more of the white. And we'll try a little bit more highlight on there. And same thing here. And something like that. knife. Go ahead and use your brush. Same thing. Just come in and tap. Right down at the bottom. Right here at the bottom, okay? And very soft. Give it a nice little misty effect on the bottom here, okay? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use a flat brush. You can use a fan brush if you like. I wanna put some, just something here so we have some land. So I'm gonna go ahead into, uh, just go into straight sap green, okay? Put up both sides. And then let's go ahead and put something like this. Okay? I'm just using the flat brush. Just want to put some, some kind of land right here. Same thing to the straight sap green. like that straight across. All I'm doing is tapping and kind of sliding across and that's pretty much it. Okay. And I'm putting in a little, little stuff here there. And I'm going to go ahead and just go into a little, little bit of the black. So a little bit of the black. Okay. And kind of come in here as well. That's why you get a couple different ranges. There we go. And the same thing. Just same exact thing, just tapping and just sliding along, okay? Same thing, a little bit of that same black there, just small, small amount. You don't want a lot of color, okay? It's better to add a little bit more, okay? There we go, something like so. Something like that. something there okay it's too too far in the distance to have any detail so don't really have to worry about it let me go ahead and grab my, my brush here and just pull pull down not too far because it's too far in the distance so you don't want that reflection too 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 much okay just like that 
Straight down, straight down, straight down. Brush and then you're just gonna go straight across, okay? And that's it, right there, okay? Go ahead and grab a small, small guy. Just a little bit of the way. It might be a little too bright, we'll see. There we go, just a little bit. I just want a little. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, just a little little line there. And I'm using the straight titanium light and just gonna rub it in there. Just like that, okay? Straight titanium light. Straight across. Just like that. I think that's good actually. Okay, we went ahead and uh, put that nice little tree line right there. I wanna go ahead and put a nice kind of foothill in front of that. So I'm gonna grab a one inch brush and I'm gonna grab some of the sap green here. Just gonna pull it straight down like so, just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of this black as well. So sap green and some black, okay. And let's go ahead and put ourselves a nice little foothill. So all I'm doing is just grabbing and straight down. Just, just like that, okay? But you want different angles, okay? And just come in. And grab a little bit more. And just have some fun. We'll go back and darken this up a little bit. We'll give us something here. Like that. Let's go ahead once again, sap green, a little bit of the black, sap green and black. And let's go right here. Maybe a little bit more of the black here. There we go. Give us something like that, okay? Same thing over here. A little bit, a little bit more of the black. Sap green and black. Do something just like that. There you go. Just like that. Just like that, right there. And if you heard a nice little snort sound, that would be my doggie waking up. She's very old. She'll be 16 in July. My best little friend. There we go. Her name is her name is Lady, by the way. So since uh, I like to walk you into my house, that's my best friend. She's always right by me. So um, she'll make her entrance known once in a while. So she's making her entrance known right now. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and grab a little bit more of this black, and we'll go just like that. Okay. A little bit more, maybe right here. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this right here. Let me grab it. Yes, yeah. And we'll make ourselves a nice little, nice little fraction. Right here, I'm gonna grab from right here. And then straight down, just like before, okay? Now you're gonna come in. Right across, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit darker, right here. Just a little bit more. I told you it's better just to go a little at a time than to put too too much. Okay, and we'll go there and right across. Okay, and what I want to do here is. I'll just take that flat brush. I'm gonna go into a little bit of the yellow ochre here. Just a little bit. Just wanna scrub in.
There we go, something like that. Something like that. Very softly go over it. Okay. Take that same brush. I just want to add a little bit more stuff right into there. So let's go into a little bit more sap green and some of the black. Okay. And then same thing, just Grab your little palette knife, titanium white. Same thing. Let me uh, start right here. Same thing. gonna go ahead and use my liner brush Get some of this color in here hopefully it'll stick out I might have to put a little bit more of the medium in here I just want a couple of little branches in here I don't know if you can see it I might have to go back and just put some wire ones in here just putting a little little tiny branches let me grab a little bit of the medium here and try to lighten it up a little bit little ones here there you know just to give it some detail So let's go ahead and let me go ahead and just grab this and just kind of fill this in right here. Um, I'll grab some of this brown for right now and a little bit of this black and a little bit of this blue. Okay. And uh, let's just have something like this and have it come down. It for right now. Let me go ahead and grab a palette. I just want it a little bit cleaner. It's a little bit cleaner. I'm going to use a, some of the brown and some of the black. brush again and I'm gonna go ahead into some of the sap green and some of my black here and you want to kind of kind of chisel it the best you can make it a as sharper of a point as you possibly can let's go ahead and put in some nice nice look of pine trees huh maybe something so, go up, 
and then you just touch just on the corner and that's it you can do a fan brush as well same thing same exact thing something like that and it'll come up and have a nice nice big guy uh, make it a little bit darker here like that same thing, chisel it out. If you wiggle it like that, it'll chisel. And then you're just touching the sides of it like that, okay? Just come in and touch. And then just zigzag it out. You remember you have two sides, so use both sides of the brush. And then load up if you have to. And just come down. Like so. And it really doesn't matter here. You can kind of just sway that in. We're gonna go ahead and re-highlight so it doesn't really make too much of a difference here. Same thing with green and your black. Go ahead and have something like so. Same thing, touch. Same thing, same colors here. We're gonna kind of cheat it. And we're just gonna come down with it like so. Gonna add some blue to the black. I might have to reload some black here I'm running low. And just do something like so. I'm gonna grab my small palette knife, make sure this guy's clean, and I'm gonna add some white. Let's put it, nah, let's put it right here. Who cares? A little brown. A little bit more white. And I just wanna some texture here. Well, same thing like kind of like the mountains, you're just pulling down with it, okay? So just like that. Last my black. Okay, I had to go and get more black, so apologize. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Grab some more, uh, some more black. Just a little bit, okay. And just put in. Put in some shadows, okay? There we go, something like so. Okay. With the uh, same brown and white, I'm just gonna mix it like so. And come in, just wanna put it in trunk thing here Same thing there okay. the knife I'm just gonna come up don't worry about I'm not gonna cut anything just come up and 
Put some stuff in it, so, okay. I just want to put a little little tree trunks in here with the liner brush as well. So I'm going to use a little bit of the, uh, you can use uh, thinner or oil. Some little guys, maybe a little bit of this stuff from earlier. There, we go ahead. Clean that for right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and thin this out with some a little bit of oil actually, or you can use some uh, thinner. I'm gonna go ahead into the yellow here. And I'm just thinning this out. There we go. All right. Now let's go ahead and just put a little, little bit of a highlight on here. Okay, same thing. Same thing. Maybe a little bit lighter. That's it. It's very, very subdued. Okay, very, very subdued. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take a just a little bit of a fan brush here and go into the yellow ochre. Put some, a little bit of yellow ochre in there. Let me thin this out. Maybe a little, little paint thinner so it'll stick. Just a little, a little bit of ochre here there. Just like I said, tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Just figure out where you like them and then just put it in. Put this out a little bit more. And then you can put some. I like that. the knife and let's go ahead and make ourselves a nice little path so I'm just going to take it and kind of rub it and just something like that there we go. let's go ahead and highlight that so I'm gonna grab a little white. I'm gonna grab some, a little bit of that red and some of the brown. And let's see what we 
get. So I'm gonna come across and, and just like that. Get just a little bit more white onto there. Close up the uh, road a little bit here. Let me put this down. I'm gonna go ahead into the brown. Let's go ahead and put a post here. I'm just going to touch it, a little black, here I'm going to grab my fan brush and a little bit of this medium here, I'm going to go into the yellow ochre. Remember, this is the time you want to put the detail in. Put these little branches. And we'll go ahead and put some dark ones in too. Let me clean this real quick. Go right into the dark, right into my black. A bit more. And same thing, except with black. Same thing. here dark like so over here remember this is the time take the time that you have and put that little bit of detail in and it's what really sells it's what people really like 
and you haven't really done much. It's just using a liner brush, you know? Just slightly. Maybe we'll do something. That's it. I'm just putting a little wind in. Okay. And with your liner brush. Bit of this white knee in here. Let's go ahead and sign this guy. So remember, just have your, your paint thinned out. It should slide right across everything here. There we go. Get a little bit more here. I really hope you had a good time with this one. Well, we did an absolutely beautiful mountain scene today. I uh, used a flat brush as well as the palette knife. I hope it was useful. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope this project um, definitely helps you get over that hump if you've been struggling. I want to thank everybody has viewed and has subscribed. Thank you so much. And until next time, I want to wish you the best. Please take care of yourself.